death in service guide. Life insurance and death in service insurance are often thought to be the same type of death payout policy, but they are two types of cover that differ greatly. If you want life insurance, it is available to you from an insurer. Death in service, however, is not available from an insurer as it is actually provided to you by your employer. Since it is provided by your employer, if you are made redundant, sacked or changed jobs, then your death in service cover is gone. You may not be able to get replacement cover if your health is poor. As a result, your family is left at risk unless you also have life insurance cover. As you can see, death in service insurance may not be enough to protect your loved ones and provide peace of mind in the event of your death. Many workers are normally offered death in service cover free of charge by their employer. Typically, it is part of the benefits package. Employers can link death in service benefits to the workers' pensions or to an insurance program they have set up. If, while you are working for the company, you die, then you can rest in peace, knowing that your loved ones are taken care of by your death in service cover. The payout for death in service insurance is normally three to four times your annual salary. The death in service payout to your family is a tax-free lump sum, which they can use to cover expenses.